Till time for you to submit your pictures of your dogs in the rain. Aww. And so far, I mean, Cappy probably is the most stylish dog <laughs> because of the way that Cappy wears this raincoat. You see the ease? The fitted the raincoat. Over the ears. Yes. For, for uh, you know, it's, mm -hmm. it's functional, it's fashionable, <laughs> it's Cappy. It is Cappy. <laughs> We've seen Cappy in coats before, too. This yeah. is our assignment editor, Brian's dog, Cappy. Always looking stylish. Yeah, the other coat was like a Burberry-looking coat. Very, yeah. Yeah. Like, like Fifth Avenue. Like, you know, yes, like a New York City coat. But really, wow. And they say that big dogs can't wear a coat. False. Happy looks adorable. Yeah, Yes. absolutely. So send in your dogs. And at, at the end, well, right now, there's a slideshow on crown4.com. Yes. Uh, do the Crown 4 Report It tab. Mm -hmm. Make sure you sign the release. And we're going to have a, a, sh a little slideshow, a little pet fashion show at, at the, the end, end of it. Yeah. Looking forward See to it. See how they fare the weather. <laughs> Speaking of the weather, let's get over to the Weather Center. John, with a look at, yeah, conditions here and up at Tahoe, too. Nice snow. Yeah, and going to need a bigger jacket for Cappy if he's going up oh, here. Yeah. Yes. But you know what? It is going to be beautiful up there if you wait a couple more days. I wouldn't be heading up into the Sierra today or tomorrow for that matter as this is when the bulk of your snowfall is going to continue to be accumulating. This is Diamond Peak right here and it does look like we've got well over a foot of snowfall already on those picnic tables. Multiple feet still ahead for the Sierra. They've yet to see the brunt of their snowfall. As for the Bay Area, we're certainly in the midst of widespread rain. Light to moderate for most areas. We've seen some heavy downpours though. Looking at areas like Richmond to Vallejo, some moderate showers for you. Vacaville through Fairfield, also in the midst of that. Benicia, Concord, down through Walnut Creek, you've got it as well. And starting to see it picking up out towards Brentwood, Antioch, and Oakley, too. A little bit further southward, these blue bubbles indicating areas where we do have some standing water on roads right around Oakland and in upper elevations north of 24 around Moraga and Orinda. Also, you're seeing light to moderate showers on the peninsula. San Mateo to Half Moon Bay, right along 92 right Right there, seeing it coming down pretty good. In the South Bay, it's been very concentrated in the hills above San Jose, especially along Highway 17, although you are seeing some light to moderate showers in San Jose itself. As for this low pressure area, it's not just dragging in all this moisture, but also some colder temperatures. So after waves of rainfall today, snow level is going to fall pretty dramatically tonight. You'll see a peak of sunshine here and there late morning into early afternoon before a second wave of rain pushes through this one with the possibility of some isolated thunderstorms and it's going to rush through pretty quickly. Rainfall takes us through your evening commute. Not going to be the easiest commute tonight and off and on showers heavy at times on into tomorrow morning. Look at how low snow level falls in the Sierra as low as 2000 feet. Pockets of uh, rain and even snowfall at hop upper elevations uh, in areas like Mount Diablo, Mount Hamilton and Mount St. Helena right here in our own backyard. After off and on showers tomorrow morning, skies clear out really nicely come the afternoon. We'll have a good dose of sunshine as we make our way towards the latter part of the day on Tuesday. Rainfall amounts over the next 24 hours. On top of what we already seen, around another inch to two inches are possible. And as for winter storm warnings in the Sierra Nevada, those will remain through 10 p.m. on Tuesday. So today, tomorrow, sit out the Sierra Drive. Wait until at least Wednesday, preferably even the weekend, to get up there and enjoy that new snowfall. It's not just the Sierra that are under winter storm warnings, but also upper elevations of Lake County, as well as portions of Humboldt County and areas further north from there. And even a winter weather advisory in Mendocino County from Laytonville to Ukiah, right there along Highway 101. That's how low uh, elevation snowfall will be. Wind watches taking effect already, lasting through 4 p.m. today on the peninsula, South Bay, East Bay, and for Solano County. Winds gusting as high as 20 to 30 miles per hour. Temperatures today in the 50s, a mild day. This is the familiar part of this forecast. Everything else kind of seems unfamiliar after such a dry November and start to this past month. 50s continue through the forecast. Rainfall today into tomorrow morning, often on showers when Wednesday and Thursday, and then a dry weekend for getting back outside. Raina. John, thanks for that. Yeah, we really needed this rain, but 